Diana knows who her dad, her baby daddy is. And um, Monet said it very clearly. She knows mm. I know it is very much Tariq. Okay. It's not Salim. <laughs> she knows. Yeah, she knows. You know, the internet just wanted you to have Hotep babies. That's all. I don't know. <laughs> all over the place they're like it better not be Salim. <laughs> like first of all it's Salim. <laughs> and they're gonna come out with a kufi on <laughs> what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm modi j and we are locked in well you just heard it we have confirmed that Tariq st patrick is the father of diana monet jr tahada let me tell you this changes the whole trajectory of Tariq and how he's going to move forward. So today we're going to look at all the outcomes that could potentially come out of this on top of the body that was dropped, AKA Celine, AKA Trevor, however you want to put it. And we're going to see how all of this is going to affect Tariq moving forward. Now, before we jump into this and we break down Tariq being the father of this devil child, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and we on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So I appreciate all of you. Now, Tariq St. Patrick, I don't know how you're going to break this news to Tasha, but she's going to need to know that you are in a situation that you can't get out of. The first person I'm going to start with is Effie. Now, how is this going to affect Tariq? We know since the beginning of time, Effie has been backdooring, setting Tariq up. But at the same time, she still has a soft spot and really cares about Tariq. Even when she's dealing with Kane, she still wants to help Tariq. When Tariq was getting hunted down, she gave him the heads up. Now, this is going to hurt Tariq for the simple fact that she has inside information of what's going on in Noma's crew. She knows what Kane's doing. Now, if she feels a certain type of way about Tariq, and Diana, because we've seen her a little bit jealous when Tariq was in the dorm room, she's going to stop giving Tariq any kind of help. Remember, Effie, she can get into computers. She can do different things separate from what Pinky has been doing and providing this to Tariq. So she can set Tariq up because he feels like this is someone he can talk to. Drew and Tariq's relationship, I won't say is rocky and there really isn't that much of a relationship. He did call Drew, hey, get Kane off my back. But now we know how Drew is moving out here in these streets. He doesn't want anything to do with Monet. And him and Kane fell out. Well, he's been very, very protective of Diana, especially with what's going on. And if he finds out that Tariq actually pulled a gun and now Diana is pregnant, he might be looking at Tariq a little bit differently. We already know we can't trust Kane. So if Drew is out here, then it might be on the same thing. Because remember, Everyone knows about the unaliving plot on Monet. And even Tariq and Kane agreed that they need to get rid of Drew and Diana. So it looks like Drew is isolated and by himself because he got kicked out of the condo. So he might be looking at Tariq as something that he needs to take care of. And only Monet can get these kids to stand down. But we see that Drew, he's became a renegade. Ever since Kane and Noma became a partner, we have to look at Kane and how he's moving. Now, when you hear people saying playing both sides, he wants to protect Monet, but we know that Noma doesn't care about Monet. She don't care about those kids. She definitely isn't gonna care about Diana being pregnant. And if she finds out that Tariq is messing with Anya, then this is gonna be a tough decision for Kane. Now, remember, he's been talking all of that, I'm my own man, but he still does what Monet says. He let Drew live because of Monet. He fell back from Tariq because of Noma. Now, if Noma tells Kane, we need to get rid of Tariq because of my daughter, Anya, then he's going to have to make that decision. Does he cross his parent, Monet, or does he stick up and be his own man and go with Noma? So we're going to have to watch Kane because we know he does not like Tariq at all. He loves his sister, Diana, but he's still hurt that him and Drew fell out because of Drew and Diana attempted murder now that we have the confirmation that Salim, aka trevor isn't the father we have to look at Tariq and how is this going to fall back on him we know the administrative group knows about the tahadas that's why kamal went to talk to Tariq and don carter went to talk to monet now this body if they find out that Tariq was there which they probably won't because he is wearing gloves 
But if they find out that Diana was there because she's in possession of the car, she had fingerprints, she was over here and at the house in Connecticut. So this could easily trace back to Tariq because they didn't show anything on here. And we have to assume he didn't do anything with the body until they show us or tell us something else. Maybe Tariq went back over there after he left the house. But this body is going to come back to Tariq. And even if it's just connected to Diana, they know that the Tejadas are dealing directly with the St. Patrick and they're dealing straight with Obi and Noma's organization. As far as Monet goes, she's had a change of heart. She wants to be there for the kids. And now that Diana's pregnant, we seen she let Tariq live. She told Kane to let Drew live. So she's actually looking at everything and wants to make a change. Now, how long will this last? We never know. That's what I was talking about with Noma. These two are gonna have to collide at some point. Now, she always wanted Tariq to be a son to her because of how they operate and they move. He's way smarter than Kane. He's street smarter than Drew. And it just all played out. But now that they have this child, it's going to be kind of tough for Monet to decide how she wants to do this. We know that Drew and Diana set her up. Tariq was supposed to be there but didn't do anything. So she's always trusted him a little bit more. The only thing is they're going to have to find out how to cover up that body. And now they're going to have to work together to potentially turn on Noma. Because if they can get from up under her, this will be a good thing. And the St. Patrick's and Tejadas can go on, maybe not co-parent, but at least coexist. The relationship with Diana and Tariq, I really don't see it lasting long. It looks more like a James St. Patrick and Tasha season five and six. They'll be able to coexist. They might not like each other, but it does appear that they're going to be around each other. And we've seen the clinic picture in the trailer. It looks like she's ignoring Tariq because of his line of questioning, but rightfully so. She did send that letter over there to be given to Tommy to unalive her mom. Well, Tariq's mom, even though she's the one that set up the plan to get rid of her mama Monet. Now this devil baby will be born. I do believe that Diana's probably gonna think about getting rid of it. Cause remember Bushandri was asking her, how are you gonna handle school with a baby? Now, is her body her choice? We'll see how Tariq reacts to it. But I think Tariq could be around and he's gonna try to make it work. And he's gonna realize, man, we in the dope game. I made mistakes, she made mistakes, it is what it is. But I think he wants to be there for the baby because he didn't really have that loving and caring and nurturing that he thought he should have had growing up with James St. Patrick and Tasha as parents. So hopefully they make it work. But if not, Tariq needs to get that test and we'll see how this devil baby turns out. All right, there you go. Confirmation that Tariq is the baby's father. And we also know that him and Diana, they got to make this work for the kids. Now, a Tejada mixed with a St. Patrick, hopefully it doesn't get that Zeke gene, because if it does, I ain't lie, you did, you lied. That's going to be something to see in Power Book 15, <laughs> the ghost of Tariq St. Patrick. But let me know what you think about Tariq. I'm ODIJ. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. I'm out.